Kieran Mulvaney, man, it's been a little minute. Great seeing you. How have you been, brother? Pretty good, pretty good. It's been pretty quiet for a while, and now we're finishing off the year with like one fight after the other, so on the road a lot. Got you. You know, you're a big boxing luminary when it, everybody recognizes you at all the fights, through all the work you did. You're heavily involved in the trenches in the Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev event. Um, can you give me your ringside view, just being there? What? Tell me your thoughts. Yeah, hey, I thought it was a really good fight. Um, you know, we wanted to have, it was a matchup that we wanted. Um, for a long time and this has been one of those years where we we've been struggling to just get the matchups that we wanted um, And so to get the matchup that we wanted and it'd be a really good fight I thought was was you know, what else could be asked for? Yeah. There was a little bit of a scoring controversy right. because boxing is boxing so we can't get everything that we want apparently Right, um, you know, I thought Sergei Kovalev won the fight uh, I didn't think he won it by miles. I thought it was a really really close fight um, and clearly Andre was better in the second half of the fight than the first half of the fight, but I, I did think that Sergey won the fight. Got you. Um, what was it about uh, Kovalev and Ward that impressed you with each guy? Like, what did you take away? Well, I mean, with Sergey, the way that he just went at Andre early, and, you know, I think if that punch in the second round had landed a little bit more cleanly, you know, we yeah. might have been in for a pretty short night. Yeah. Um, you know, he went about his business. He went at it, knew what he had to do, um, realized that his strength was to try and use his jab to, to, to keep Andre at exactly the range that he wanted him to be, and then land that right hand behind it. Um, what I was really impressed with Andre, because he hadn't looked that great in his last couple of fights, yeah. but what I was impressed with was that he did adapt, and he did manage to find a way to close that gap just a little bit. Like, he got in close to grapple, but he got to like a kind of a mid-distance that was just inside. He stepped inside Kovalev's jab, so he wasn't at the end of Kovalev's jab, and he was close enough that he could fire those um, one punch at a time, and then move out of the way, and kind of befuddle Sergei a little bit. And I also like the fact that, look, when they were, in clinches when they were in close, Andre was working. He was yeah. hitting him hard to the body. Um, he was doing all that kind of stuff. So uh, I was very impressed with Andre in that respect. Um, so you both guys really, I think, you know, Sergey in the first half and Andre in the second, really doing their best to implement the game plan. You know, um, people kind of view fights differently. Some people said that there's a lot of holding. It was this and that. I looked at the fight sometimes. It was really fascinated to see the way they were boxing each other. This big Kovalev killer who's run through guys against Andre Ward. How he boxed. I mean, what did you did you see a boxing match or uh, UFC? as Kathy Duva was saying. Oh, I thought it was a really skilled boxing match. Yeah. Um, both guys did what we sort of expected them to do in many respects. Um, you know, and Sergey was doing some of the holding on the inside too as well. It, was, it sounded a little bit as if Andre was doing everything, but he wasn't. They were both, they were both doing that a little bit because neither of them wanted to be working super in close. They were both struggling to, to get the right distance and Sergey wanted it to be a little bit farther back than Andre did. Um, you know, I think if there is... Look, even though I thought Sergey won the fight, if there's a mark against him is that Andre adapted and Sergey didn't really adapt back. Um, he had a lot of rounds in the bank and if he's done a bit of a better job of you know stepping forward again behind that jab maybe and and working Andre maybe working Andre as well to the body more than he did he might have just pulled out an extra round or two that would have been enough to see him over the edge. as it was the one problem that I had with the scoring by the way because it, it was very close um, yeah. I had a real problem with round 10. Yeah. Um, I thought, and I turned to the guy next to me and I said after that, wow, it's okay, stop that momentum. Right there. He yeah. stopped Andre's momentum right there. I thought that was one of his best rounds. Yeah. And nobody gave it to him out of the three judges. And if they had given it to him, a lot of Sergei people are talking had, about that round. You and know, that you was, see the, it all that was my first thought afterwards. Like, how did they not give him that 10th round? Hmm. Um, but you know what? At the same time, Sergey, you know, may look back on it and feel that he missed an opportunity. And if there is a rematch, I pick Sergey to win. Really? The first time around. You might favor Andre this time because he was the guy who looked like he figured Sergey out in the yeah. second half of the fight. So the onus would be on Sergey to come up with something else the second time. Andre Ward said after the fight, he said, "It's getting harder to deny me my legacy." What is uh, his legacy in your eyes and boxing fans' eyes? He's an incredibly talented fighter, and I think, you know, he's shown us that consistently. Uh, part of the problem has been that he's not always... He's, if you're a casual fan, you don't always appreciate what you're seeing with Andre Ward. You kind of have to understand what's going on to yeah. really appreciate Andre, because there's a lot of subtlety, there's a lot of stuff on the inside, uh, it's not all flashy. He's really old school in that respect. Um, his personality can turn people off. 
simply because he's, he's very confident and he's not warm and fuzzy all the time, even though he's a good dude, uh, and he doesn't fight enough. And so for all those kind of reasons, I think he's maybe not quite gotten the due that he deserves. And here was an opportunity for him to get it, and because he, he might have gotten more of a due, in the same way that like Tim Bradley might have been more appreciated if he officially lost that first fight to Manny Pacquiao, yeah. Andre might have gotten a bit more of a due if he'd come back really strongly and lost 114-113 yeah. than the fact that he ended up getting this decision. Um, but look, I mean, Andre is a tremendously skilled fighter, and he's a very good old school fighter. And officially, at least, he's beaten everyone who's been put in front of him. And he's got a very good um, resume of fighters who he's beaten. Um, he's clearly a Hall of Famer. Like, if he stops fighting tomorrow, he's a Hall of Famer on the first battle. I don't think there's any question. Very the first battle.